Hey guys, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Adobe Muse Quick Start Guide. In today's video, we are going to be continuing on with our website and we are going to be taking a look at hyperlinks and understanding some of the different type of hyperlinks that we can work with. Having said that, we're going to be setting up links for text and we're also going to be going over setting up links for images as well. So if you have some kind of icon in your website that you sort of want to take to, take your, you know, your user to somewhere else, you know, you can do that. Uh, we're going to be showing you how to link to different websites. Um, different pages and in the next video we're also going to be going over to different anchor points as well now there's plenty for us to learn so let's just go ahead and dive in and start sort of linking our website up okay okay now that we're inside of Adobe Muse let's go ahead and try and create a basic hyperlink so for those of you who don't actually know what a hyperlink is it is pretty much a link to another web page or another file or you know another location on the page or anything like that so basically it's a way of getting the you know the customer or the user to actually interact with your website and it sort of links it to some other aspect of your website whether you know that's your website it can also be another website for example I'm going to be placing in some images from my scene here where we've got the Adobe Photoshop logo I'm going to be setting up a hyperlink that when you click that little link it's going to take you to the Adobe Photoshop website and I'm going to be doing the same thing for the Adobe Muse website as well now we're not just restricted to taking customers or users outside of your website you can also do it to pages on your website as well which is something that I'm going to be showing you how to do and it's definitely something that we can utilize for the menu in the top left hand corner of our little design here so to show you how to create these hyperlinks I'm just going to go ahead and place those two images in there the Adobe Muse image and the Adobe Photoshop image and then we're going to be linking them to the website so first things first, I'm just going to quickly place it in the scene. Now, if you don't have these images already, just go ahead and download them from the project file in the description. And I'm just going to place it in just like that. And it's ready to go. So to set up the hyperlink, it's quite simple, really. All we've got to do is just go ahead and select the layer. So go ahead and select the layer. And over in the top in your menu bar, all you've got to do is head over to hyperlinks. From here, you've got a couple of options. The first of which is to sort of open the link in a new tab or window. So if you don't want it to close the website you're on at the moment, so your website, you choose this option. In here, you can also type in a tooltip. A tooltip is pretty much a piece of text that's going to pop up you know where the mouse cursor is to tell you exactly you know where it's going to take you to so i'm just going to go ahead and type in here adobe muse website and then you can also change the text link style as well which you can do later on but for now i'm going to leave it to this now this isn't necessarily linking it to any websites at the moment so we need to go ahead and do that so the way we're going to do it is with this selected once again you see where it says add or filter links just go ahead and type in where you want to take it to by default, you get a couple of options for, you know, links on this website. For example, you've got the home page, the about us page, contact, or you can even link it to a file that, you know, Adobe Muse will upload automatically for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and head over to my browser and I'm going to get the Adobe Muse link. And then we're just going to paste it in. And once that's done, we should have our you know, we should have everything set up. So I've got my link, it's muse.adobe.com. I'm just gonna paste it in here and then press enter to chuck it in there. So when we go ahead and press preview now, we should have our link working just great. So you can see here, when I hover over it, we've got the sort of touch link interactive thing popping up, which is great. And you can also see we've got our tooltip just underneath the mouse cursor to say it's going to take you to the Adobe Muse website. Now, it's not necessarily going to work in in this browser just because it's the preview mode doesn't work too great instead oh no it is working but that's there we go yeah that's looking great that is really really nice um so you can see our link is working quite fine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to add it to text now you could link a whole piece of text if you wanted to or you can also just link a certain selection so let me go ahead and show you an example of that so one thing that we could link is let's go ahead and just link this lorem ipsum text here and the way i'm going to do that once again just go over to hyperlinks and then let's go ahead and link it to the about us page now hyperlinks applied to text inside a rasterized frame cannot be exported you must change the text frame so it does not require for it okay so by adjusting the 
font or okay so cool so basically that's just an issue because I've got a custom font on there if you use a default font you're not really gonna get that error message so if you're using the default font which is Arial or whatever it is you know it's not gonna be an issue but you can see the hyperlink that you've got here is actually become it's come out in blue which is quite nice and that sort of tells us that it is a hyperlink so let's just go ahead and test that and you can see it's taken us to our about page which is completely empty at the moment. So if you remember from earlier on in the series we showed you how to actually set up your hyperlink styles, you can go ahead and change that in uh, your site, site properties, just go to file, site properties, and you can change the link style. So for example, I don't quite like the look of this blue hyperlink that we've got here, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change this to something like an orange uh, to sort of fit with this sort of color scheme that I've got going on here and you can see now in my preview mode it's in orange which is quite nice you can see it's purple here at the moment because I've clicked it once already but for any other user of the website it's gonna look quite nice so we're just gonna take this hyperlink system one step further and we're just gonna add in another image real quick and once again it's just the Photoshop website uh, Photoshop image and we're just sort of starting to bring this website to look uh, to life so go ahead and grab it and you can probably guess what the link for that's going to be it should be photoshop dot muse not dot muse dot adobe dot com so I'm just going to double check on my browser uh, it's all on another screen at the moment so it's not working too great okay so I'm just going to go ahead and grab the link over here and then we're just going to set the link to this for the Photoshop thing. Now make sure you have got the right layer selected, otherwise you're going to be setting links for all kinds of different stuff. Make sure you haven't got background elements selected or anything like that. So just go ahead and do that. So select your Photoshop layer. It's semi-transparent so you can't click on it properly too, uh, too well. So sometimes you might just have to move out the background. But select that, add that hyperlink and just chuck it in there and press enter. You can also see we've now got recently used links which is quite nice so if you use the same link over and over again you know you can just choose it in here instead of manually trying to find it and all of that great stuff. So let's just go ahead and preview this one more time and see how our website is looking. So you can see it's definitely starting to come together it's a nice looking little website and you know so I'm going to end off the video here. I think it's definitely a great a great place to end the video. We've got a better understanding of link of how links work. We've set up some links on our website. So we've got links to different pages. We've got links to different websites. Um, you guys should know how to do the thing with the files now. Just choose the option in the hyperlink section. We also know how to style our links as well, which is quite nice. And the only other step that I want to go over with you guys is going over anchors and anchors are a certain type of link that is going to link you to a certain location on your page and it'll sort of automatically scroll you down and we're going to be doing that in the next video so as always guys thanks for watching make sure you share the video smack that like button and i will see you next time goodbye